What is up guys, Sky here again, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create custom widgets for your D2L course homepage. Now, even though I'm going to show you how to create one, what I'm going to be demonstrating here is really just scratching the surface of what's possible. The sky really is the limit when it comes to creating widgets and customizing your D2L homepage. In later videos, I'll talk about how you can take a lot of different things online and actually convert them into an embed code that can be put into a widget. But for now, I'm going to demonstrate how you can take something that has an embed code on a website and put it into a widget in D2L. So the first thing that we're going to do is learn how to create a widget. So on our course homepage, we're going to want to go up to edit course and click there and find the little widgets button. It should be under site setup and click. And here you can see a lot of other types of widgets. There's a few that I've created myself. Um, but to create a new one, you'll just click Create Widget. And the first thing you'll have to do is name it. Now, you have to name it before you put anything else in it, or it won't let you go over here to Content, which is where you actually get to edit it. So we'll just call it Video Demo Widget. And we'll leave the description blank for now. And then we're going to go over here to Content. And now this screen should look familiar if you've created a course in D12 before. This is our you know, normal kind of content editor box. Um, and so, of course, we have our normal insert stuff and images and hyperlinks um, buttons. And we're going to actually click on insert stuff. And that's where we're going to be able to enter our embed code. For now, we're actually going to back out because we need to actually go and get that embed code before we have anything to put in that option. So here on my screen, I've actually pulled up uh, a, a real-time stock chart that uh, here on this website, and this is just something I found online, you you know, you can do kind of a Google search and see what you can find and what you like. Uh, this is just showing Apple stock, but you can, you know, zoom in uh, to see kind of more specifics, uh, the days of, of different months. You can even zoom out to where now we're viewing multiple years. Um, and so this is a really cool little tool, and the best part is that it's embeddable, so we're going to be able to put it right on our D2L homepage. So with this one, uh, if we scroll down here, it says Get Widget. Now, a lot of websites do call these widgets the same way D2L does, but you might not always see that. It might say Get Embed Code or something about embedding. So I'm going to click on Get Widget, and it's going to take me to this screen, where at the bottom we have our embed code. You'll usually know the embed code, even if it's not labeled, because it's going to look like a bunch of code um, that you'll need. So all we're going to do here is highlight all of that, and uh, I'm going to right-click it and click Copy. And so now I've got my embed code. So I'm going to go back to D2L, and I'm going to go back to Insert Stuff and go down to Enter Embed Code and simply copy and paste it into that box and click Next. And as you can see, it recognized it as that chart we were just viewing, and you can uh, preview it. With some things, it'll let you preview. Sometimes it won't. Um, but I'm going to click Insert, and I'm going to then Save and Close. And so now I have my uh, video demo widget down here. This is the one that we just created. And we're going to go back to our course homepage and put it in. So as you can see, it's not there yet because we have to edit our homepage. Now, uh, if you're not sure how to edit a homepage, I'm going to direct you to uh, one of the previous videos that showed you how to create a copy of a homepage template and edit it for your own personal purposes. Um, and so if you haven't viewed that, go ahead and view that. But if you have and you're already using your custom homepage, you should have this Edit This Homepage button here uh, where you can just edit it right there. And so that's going to bring up our Edit Homepage section. And now, uh, as you can see, I've got a different widget layout. But I'm going to put this right here at the bottom of our homepage. So I'm going to click Add Widgets, and I'm going to go over here to where it says Custom Widget. And this is, you know, all the custom widgets that have been created. So we're going to scroll down to where it says Video Demo Widget, the one we just created. Click the box and click Add. And now that we've got that in there, we're going to click Save and Close. And so here on our course homepage, if we scroll down, we can now see that same kind of view of the stock of Apple. Um, and we are even able to zoom out the way we were on the website and zoom in so we can view, you know, custom information. And you can even change which, you know, stock you want to view. That's just, again, with this particular tool. But for a lot of business classes, finance, things like that, this would be very helpful. Now, I want to stress one more time that this is really just the surface level. This is just one tool out of thousands that exist out there. 
like I said, it's helpful for certain classes, but there might be something in your particular area of expertise that you want to put in your course shell. And a lot of things that do exist on other websites are able to be embedded. So I encourage you to search around and find something that, you know, is helpful and conducive to your students that you can embed. Um, as always, if you do have any questions about any of this stuff, I know it is a little bit complicated. You can always email us at onlinehelp at okcu.edu.